Thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect. I do want to let you know we are right in the middle of a great season of putting together uh, new small groups this fall. So we've got, we've got over 20 different groups available. Uh, groups, couples and singles, young adults, uh, just mixed, you know, different ages and genders mixed together. A lot of variety out there. We have men's groups and women's groups. So uh, when you get done watching the video today, go to norwaychristianchurch.com uh, forward slash small groups and uh, check out all the groups that are available. And we'd love to have you join a group and be part of that way of learning how to follow Jesus. So we do have a, a viewer question today, and it was spurred from the Gospel in 90 reading that we were doing together this summer. So a couple of weeks ago, this viewer was reading in John chapter uh, 15 and came across this verse. Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So the part about you did not choose me, but I chose you, that Jesus chose us, kind of spurred the question with the viewer. So this brings up the larger conversation, which is one that's been talked about and debated and wrote about by Christians and Christian leaders and Christian scholars for hundreds of years. And it's the question of predestination. Uh, so the idea is, did God decide ahead of time everyone who is going to be saved or is it our choice whether we choose to obey God, to follow God, to receive salvation? Uh, which, which way is it? So it's, it's a large question and one that's been out there for a very long time. So the interesting thing is that you can read verses in the Bible that would make you feel like just on the surface that, yeah, indeed, it seems like God is choosing who is going to be saved and lost, irrespective of the person's interest themselves. And then you can read verses in the Bible, kind of from the other side of the conversation, that make it sound like, well, sure enough, it is the choice of the person. And the person has the choice of if they're going to accept Jesus as their Savior and their Lord, if they're going to submit their lives to Him, and therefore be in a saved relationship with God. So you can find verses on either side of the conversation. So what we'll try to do here in this venue uh, today and probably for another week or two is present both sides of the conversation and then uh, find the, the best path of truth uh, that from the scriptures in that regard. So let me read a few verses today that, that, that kind of come from the side that God has chosen us. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 and 5. Even as He chose us in Him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him. In love, He predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of His will. Now, Romans chapter 8, verses 28 through 30. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. For those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of of his son, in order that he might be firstborn among many brothers, and those whom he predestined, he also called, and those whom he called, he also justified, and those whom he justified, he also glorified. So we see clearly in that verse the idea of predestination. Uh, one final verse, and there are others you can look online, you can look up in a topical Bible or a concordance and find additional verses that express the same ideas and the same sentiments. The Gospel of John, chapter 6 and verse 44, No one can come to me, this is Jesus talking, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. The Father draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. So just a selection of verses from one side of the conversation. So let's, let's pray together as we finish up, and we'll continue the conversation uh, next week. Uh, remember norwinchristianchurch.com uh, forward slash... Uh, small groups and uh, check out the small groups that are available. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much. Thank you that you thought of us, you cared about us, you loved us. God, even, even, before, even before we were created, God, we are so honored by that. And God, we're so thankful that we have Jesus. We're so thankful that we can be in a relationship with you. We can spend eternity with you and we can be on mission. God, we can be on mission to teach others how to follow Jesus. We're so thankful. God, Guide our hearts as we sincerely and humbly, as we sincerely and humbly, God, 
uh, want to do your will, want to honor you, and want to follow Jesus. Help us understand what you want to teach us. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect. We look forward to seeing you Sunday at 845 or 1030. For more information, visit our website, norwinchristianchurch.com. 